and welcome to Brennan and Evely's Jinrock the Breaker Guide in Looking for Raid in Throne of Thunder. I'm Evely, a monk healer. And I'm Brenna, a monk tank. This is the first boss in Throne of Thunder, and a pretty straightforward and repetitive fight. So once you get a couple key mechanics down, you'll kill Jinrock pretty easily. So four times during this fight, Jinrock will grab a tank and throw him into a corner of the room. Where the tank lands, conductive water pools will spawn. Stand in the conductive water pools to increase your DPS and healing. Stand on the edge of the water so you can easily move out of it if you need to. DPS? The boss is a huge hitbox, so it's okay if you're melee to stand in the water, even if you're kind of far away, because you'll still be able to hit the boss. Tanks, it's important that you don't stand in the water, even if you're not tanking, because you'll pull so much damage you'll easily pull off of the air tank. Also, tank swap whenever the current tank gets static wound on them. So after the conductive water pool takes up a full quarter of the room, Jinrock will move to the middle of the room and cast Lightning Storm. This will cause the water pool to look like lightning and become harmful. It will become electrified waters, so you'll need to get out. Save your raid-wide healing and damage mitigation CDs for this and use them once you're safely out of the water. Don't use them before you're out of the water or else you'll die. Heals, you'll get your big cooldowns off twice if you use them at the first lightning storm and at the last lightning storm. Tanks, if you have any ability uh, to redirect raid damage to yourself, save it for this ability. If you're a ranged DPS or a healer, you can get targeted by a lightning ball called Focus Lightning like the Shaman on the left of your screen. Get out of the water pool as quickly as possible like he does and don't stack on anyone else because it will have a short range AoE when it explodes. Then it will leave behind a lightning fissure that causes damage, so don't stand in it. So a little pro tip about the lightning fissures. If you're kiting a lightning ball away from the water and you drag it across another lightning fissure already in the room, you're going to damage everyone in your raid. Please avoid kiting into another lightning fissure. Thank you for watching our Jinrock the Breaker Throne of Thunder guide. Please tell your friends if our video helped you out and check out our channel for other guides.